Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and the day is here, it's time to announce the winner of our worldwide Hour of Devastation booster box giveaway, and then of course, crack open the sweet, sweet box so we can ship it off to our winner, and the winner, and thank you all for entering, super awesome of you, but the winner is Kieran R. of Stoke-on-Trent over in the UK. So big congrats to Kieran. This box is for you. So let's crack open this box of Hour of Devastation and let the fun begin. Hopefully we get some sweet masterpieces. We've seen some sweet card spikes since the Pro Tour. So I think there's a little bit more value in the set than there was when we initially opened our box. So there it is. A beautiful, beautiful box of Hour of Devastation. Lots of packs for Kieran R. So yeah, let's get to it. Like usual, we'll focus on the rares and... Hopefully, the masterpieces. Any sweet uncommons. There's a couple good ones. A braid is a good uncommon. And mostly skip over the commons, but... All right. Here it goes. This box is for you, Karen. And thank you again, everyone, for entering. Definitely appreciate it. So we have Supreme Will. Appeal to Authority. Burning Fist Minotaur. Nimble Obstructionist. Eh, an okay rare. Nice snake token. All right. Rare number one, Nimble Obstructionist. Pack number two. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to crack this box, because when we opened ours on release day, value was a bit low, but it is definitely improving. Sinuous Striker, claim to fame, one of the better uncommons from the set. Doom Diviner and a Dream Stealer to go along with the Island and a Punch-Out card. All right, pack number three. So if you had any luck opening Hour of Devastation, it's a it's a weird set as far as value. All right, get to those uncommon. Sunset Pyramid, Vizier of the Anointed, very good limited, Unraveling Mummy. Man, this is like limited all-star uncommons. Bantu's Last Reckoning, uh, pretty good. The three mana Damnation with a downside. And we've got our second full art land, so off to a pretty reasonable start for Kiran. Next pack, we have Bloodwater Entity, Crypt of the Eternals, Torment of Scarabs, and Mirage Mirror, along with, eh, not much, Cat Token, Sweet Cat Token. Mirage Mirror is a card that oh, I really want to build around, but it seems challenging to really build around. They're so, I don't know, there's a lot of randomness in that card. Magmaroth, Unconventional Tactics, Desert's Hold, and Refuse to Cooperate. And, ooh, our first foil, foil number one, a nice shiny Desert of the True. All right, not a high-value foil, but a foil's a foil. And the Deserts have proved to be some of the biggest sleepers from the set. So good compared to, I think, where people had them pegged. They're like standard staples. Sinuous Striker, Unraveling Mummy, Dune Diviner, Adorned Pouncer, and Stuff. Ah, yep. All right. So no Mythics yet. No Masterpieces yet. No high-end rares. I guess Bantu's Last Reckoning is not bad, but not high-end, high-end. Resolute Survivor, Final Manifestation, Inferno Jet, Ramanam Hydra, and nothing. Okay. Well, come on. We need some sweetness for Kieran over in the UK. Come on, deck. Come on, box. <laughs> I guess deck is the wrong way to say that. Come on, box. Give us something sweet for Kiran. Crypt of the Eternal Struggle. Champion of Wits. All right. One of the most high-value rares from the set. So that's one that we don't mind opening. Man, and we are getting full art lands like crazy. Uh, so that's sweet. I mean, not that they're worth anything, but they can pimp out your deck or whatever the term we're using for that now. Uh, all right. Next pack. Hopefully we get some more Champion of Wits levels cards for Kiran. Or the Masterpiece. That's the ultimate win. Striker, Farm to Market, Omnia Sphinx. Oh, Hour of Devastation. Two high-end rares in a row. And it looks like we got a foil. Unfortunately, it's a shiny rat. A uh, ruin rat. And not a horrible card. But, I mean, Hour of Devastation, Champion of Wits, back-to-back -back packs. Two of the best rares in the set for Kiran. Next pack. Get through... This jank, Nissa's Defeat, Chef at Dunes, Bane Whip Punisher, Solemnity, one of my favorite cards from the set. 
And more full arts. Holy full arts. We're running like 100% full arts in this box somehow. Which has got to be way above average. All right. Next pack, Crypt of the Eternals, Overcome, Ifner Dreadlands, Reason to Believe, and not much. Eh, all right, bulk rare time. Can't all be Hour of Devastations and Champion of Wits. There's got to be some bulk rares slipped in as well. Next pack, we have Doomfall, Resolute Survivors, Ramen on Bruins, All-Star of the Pro Tour. Uh-oh, we can see our foil. Hostile Desert. Eh, hasn't really caught on yet. A foil, I believe. Is that foil? Oh yeah, that's foil. You can kind of see it there. A foil crypt of the Eternals. So foil number three, still no foil rare. And we're one third of the way through our box for Kiran. Thanks again to everyone who entered. Definitely appreciate it. Maybe next time, maybe next box when it's Ixalan giveaway time. Maybe that'll be your time to get your box cracked open and on the channel, if new reveal at Vile Manifestation, Unraveling Mummy, Hazarette's Undying Fury. Not a card we really wanted to open. Ooh, man, that pack is like splitting apart. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that means there's a masterpiece. <laughs> okay. Steward of Solidarity, Dagger of the Worthy, Torment of Scarabs, Torment of Hailfire, Sweet Against the Odds card, and Stuff. Uh, somehow we have still not opened a single Mythic, which is really weird. We're almost halfway through our box with zero Mythics. What are the odds of that? We need some Mythics for Kiran. Chandra's Defeat. Uh, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Eternal Farshruce. Hour of Revelation. Eh, okay. Great Wrath for Commander. Wish it was a foil. Foils of that are going to be expensive someday, I believe. Next pack. Come on, where's the Mythics? This is, this is weird. This is looking weird. River Hobu, Hope Tender, Vizier of the True, and a Hollow One. Alright, Hollow One is sweet, but we're officially, I think, with this pack, half of the way through our box. And while we've hit two of the high value rares, we have hit zero, literally zero mythics. Zero mythics whatsoever. Which is just absolutely insanely weird. All right, what do we got? Crook of Condemnation, Obelisk Spider, Chef at Dunes, and Kefnet's Last Word. Uh, not a mythic, not even a rare that we really want to exist. I mean, good and limited. Mind control effects are good and limited, and that would say mind control effect. Next pack, we have... Bloodwater Entity, Eternal of Farshruce, Consign to Oblivion, Earthshaker Kenra. Well... That's a breakout card from the Pro Tour. Another good rare, but where's the Mythics? What's going on with this box, Kiran? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> Are we the unluckiest? Is it even possible to get a no Mythic box? Isn't there something that keeps that from happening? Magmaroth, Gideon's Defeat, Vizier of the Anointed, Amit Eternal. Uh, okay. Amit Eternal. Proving to be fairly powerful. Did show up at the Pro Tour. Oh, man. Kiran, where is... Where's our Mythics? Oh, I'm starting to get nervous now. We're almost two-thirds of the way through with no Mythics. Ipnu Rivulet, Doomfall, Ramana Bruins, and Abandoned Scarcophagus. All right. Still... Still no... Still no Mythics. Where's the Mythics? Next up, we have... Ooh, I see a foil. I believe. Fervent Paincaster, Desert's Hold, Dunes of the Dead, Hostile Desert. Oh, uh, all right. Not a mythic. Oh, no. Kiran. Oh, man. This is a nightmare. How is this even possible? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm getting nervous. We're, well, we just got to hit like five mythics in a row. It's got to happen. Angel of the God Pharaoh. There's an Abraid, the best of the uncommons. Saving Grace, Angel of Condemnation. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, I mean, Mythics? Where's the Mythics, Wizards? Where's the Mythics? Uh, come on. Give us something good for Kiran. Mythic, Masterpiece, any of that stuff. Another Braid's nice. And uh, Apocalypse Neiman, the bulkiest of bulk rares. Oh, man. Wow, we're almost two-thirds through with still no Mythics. I don't understand what's happening. I really don't. I don't understand. I don't think I've ever opened two-thirds of a box with zero mythics before. 
Uh, Crook of Condemnation, Bloodwater Entity, Abla Spider, Hour of Glory, and a Foil Non-Full Art Forest. Okay. I mean, Foil Forest is nice. Full Art would be nicer. Well, we have one third of the box to go, and hopefully there's like four Mythics in there. I don't, I don't, I've never seen this before. I've just never seen it. All right, Giran, here we go. Final third of the box. Hopefully, this is where the sweetness comes. It's saving the best for last. This is where we get the Nicole Boluses, the masterpieces for Kiran, Merciless Eternal, Chandra's Defeat, Liliana's Defeat, Ronus's Last Stand. Well, an interesting rare. Oh my goodness. I've never, I've never had this happen before. Well, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm thinking we gotta be like 50% mythics the rest of the way. What are the chances of this? We get Hepatia Oasis, Omnia Sphinx, consigned to Oblivion, and Nicobolas, the God Pharaoh. There's a mythic. That's what we've been waiting for. Alright, feeling a little better. I was getting nervous. I thought it was never gonna happen. Okay, now this is where the string of mythic starts. We have all our mythics in these packs. We gotta get at least like two or three more. So, sweet Nicobolas for Kiran. Alright, what do we get in this pack? Shifter Worm, I feel better. At least we got not only a mythic, but one of the best mythics. Riddle Form, Pride Sovereign. All right. Pride Sovereign is a, not a mythic. It's a fun card though. Cat Tribal, potentially getting better with the tribal theme of Ixalan. Eh, this pack, we get Farm to Market, Quarry Beetle, Ifner Dreadlands, Razaketh the Foul-Blooded. All right, the Mythics are coming now. This card is so sweet. This card is, oh man, I I just I'm really excited for this card. It I underrated that card severely. It is so sweet with like Ever After reanimating stuff, and you loop it, and yeah, it is it is way spicier than it looks. All right, Mythic number two. It's coming together. Oh man, I was sweating there for a minute. I thought we were just never gonna hit the good stuff. We haven't a foil rare either. Razagus, right? Mana Core Eternal, Doom Diviner, a Scavenger Grounds. Oh, this looks like a foil. A foil. Uh. Foil Feral Prowler. All right, a foil's a foil, and Scavenger Grounds is a very good sideboard card in standard, so we'll take it. We have, what, five packs to go after this? Getting down to the final countdown for Kiran. Still would like another Mythic or two, and of course, a Masterpiece would be the best. Merciless Eternal, Inferno Jet, Suscord Champion, the Scorpion God. Ooh, all right. Well, the Mythic tied his turn after getting no Mythics. Wow, what a weird box. All of our mythics were in that one row. We're up to three now. We opened zero mythics for two-thirds of the box, and now we're up to three, and they've been good ones, too. I expect we still get one more, have a chance to get one more, at least. Jace's Defeat, Dunes of the Dead, Struggle to Survive, Hour of Eternity, and our full art land game is running a little lower. All right, five packs to go. The final five countdown. Five more chances for a sweet mythic or a masterpiece for... Our worldwide giveaway winner, Kiran. Appeal to Authority, Shifter Worm, Dunes of the Dead, Ramen Up Excavator. Pretty sweet card. Big fan of that. Also, Urshiga Kenra token. That's a good token to have. Urshiga Kenra is the real deal in standard, apparently, in the Ramen Up Red deck. Alright, honoring it here. Hepesh Oasis, Imaginary Threats, Deserts Hold, Hour of Revelation. Oh, man, I think we got a foil. I think we do. Oh, man, be a good one. Come on, give us a masterpiece for Kiran. Or a Graven Abomination. <laughs> uh, not quite a masterpiece. Second Hour of Revelation, which is a good commander rare. I mean, I think it's standard playable to some extent, too. Three packs to go for Kiran. Give us one more Mythic, at least. One more Mythic on the way out the door. Come on, box. Farm to market. Sand Strangler. Vizier. Oh, Samet the Test did. Well, we, against all odds, the mythic breakdown in this box is absurdly weird. We also have another foil, I believe. Is this the foil of dreams? Whoa! Okay. Uh, that's, <laughs> that is a, a foil mythic. So that is super sweet. I mean, it's not a masterpiece, but foil crested sunmare. Commander staple, standard staple, if you're me. What a, what a pack. We got Samet, double mythic, the classic double mythic pack for, <laughs> for Kiran. 
Oh man, the box turned around. We went two thirds of the box with zero mythics. Zero mythics. And now we open five in the last third of the box. We are running super hot. Super hot. Two more packs to go. Can we get another mythic or a masterpiece in these last two packs? That would be the greatest third of a box of all time. Cory Beetle, claim to fame. Devotee of Strength, and Leave to Chance. Eh, all right. Well, last shot. Last shot for Kiran. Come on. Give us a Masterpiece box. That would be so sweet. This is this is it. Let's get through. We have Sunset Pyramid, A Curse Toward, Tenacious Hunter, Oketra's Last Mercy, and... Oh, all right. Well, no Masterpiece for Kiran, but... That box took a turn. Oh my goodness. I thought we were going to open the worst box of all time, and I was feeling so bad for our giveaway winner of Kiran, but it turned around on the last third of the box and ended up being awesome. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go count up these prices. You probably know them by now because I add them up as we go along, but I don't know them. So I'll add up the prices, be back with a wrap-up in just a quick second. All right, so let's wrap up this box of Hour of Devastation from our worldwide giveaway going out to Kieran one last time in the UK, so another big congrats to you. So I was scared to death. As we were opening that box, it looked so bad. I thought it was going to be a nightmare, and it's a giveaway box, and if it was one of my boxes and it was a nightmare, whatever, but I really want the boxes to be good when they're giveaways. So when we went through two-thirds of the box without opening a Mythic, I was thinking it was going to be the worst box I've ever opened, but thankfully it turned around. So value-wise, we ended up really good, $97.56 from a box without hitting a masterpiece, which is very, very solid. We cannot complain about that. Basically around $100 when you throw in the bulk and stuff. So we got double claim to fame, double a braid, the two chase uncommons, especially braid, which is like $3 now. We also had some supreme wills and ramen up ruins, which I didn't add into the total. Total, but they're like in the dollar range. I usually try to only add cards that are around 150 as far as actually counting up the total, but those are some free value as well. As far as the rest of the stuff, we got a bunch of $5 rares. Ramen Up Excavator, Earthshaker Kenra, Solemnity, Solid in the $5 range. Not to mention a Champion of the Wits, an Hour Devastation, the best rare in the entire set at almost $8. And then, in our last third of the box, the Mythic started pouring in. Nicole Bull has God, Pharaoh, Razaketh, the Foul-Blooded, the Scorpion God, Samoth, the Tested. Most impressively, out of the five most valuable mythics in Hour of Devastation, we got three of them. Nicole Bolas is number one, Razaketh and the Scorpion Gods are number four and five. The other two gods are in front of them, but solid mythics. Not only do we end up getting a good number of mythics, but they ended up being good mythics as well. And then we top that all off with the Crested Sun Mirror Foil, a foil mythic extremely rare about $12 of value on top of it. So overall, it turned out to be an awesome box. Super happy with it. I mean, with modern boxes, you're always hoping for a masterpiece. But for not hitting a masterpiece, this box ended up being about as good as possible. And if you had told me that two-thirds of the way through, I would not have believed you because I thought it was going to end up being the nightmares. So that wraps up our Hour of Devastation Worldwide Giveaway Booster Box opening. So one last time, Congrats to Kieran over in the UK. Your box will be coming to you shortly. And also thank you to everyone else that entered. So I expect we'll be doing another one of these soon, likely for Ixalan. So keep an eye out for that if you want another chance to win a free box and get a shout out on the channel. So again, thanks to everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Kieran, enjoy the box, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here